Today I'm going to talk about several reasons the electric eel wheel 6 might not start up when you try it. The first thing to check is the power supply. So this blue light should be on and in this case it's not. What I found sometimes is that this cord that goes to the wall is not fully plugged in. So you want to maybe push it in and now you can see that the blue light turns on but sometimes you might want to take it out all the way and then put it back in and that'll get the blue light on. So that means that this uh, power supply is now powered up. So then the next thing to check is on the back. There's this light here and I purposely designed it so that when you plug the power supply in, it will blink two times and then go off because a lot of people don't like it constantly on light. So I didn't want to leave this bright green light on. So whenever you plug the power supply in, you should see it blink two or three times. So the next thing to check is if you have this speed dial not set to zero, uh, it's not going to start spinning even if you move it around like this. So in order to fix that, you either need to flip this switch a couple of times or use the foot pedal or if you turn this dial all the way back to zero like that and then you go up, it'll start spinning. That's just a safety feature I put in. I didn't want you to have it set up at a high speed, plug it in and it starts spinning. Another reason it might not spin is because this drive belt isn't positioned correctly. In this case, it's not actually on the motor pulley, so sometimes when you change the flyer or the bobbin, this will not end up back in the right spot. So you want to make sure that this drive belt is on this motor pulley. You also want to make sure that the drive belt is in the correct groove on the flyer. So if both of those things are correct, it will hopefully spin up like this, but um, if not, another thing you can try is um, just to make sure that the tension isn't too high, you can take off the, the uh, tension band and just uh, try it like this and see if it works. If it's still not working, uh, another thing to check is that this front pulley can sometimes get loose. And in order to do that, you just use this um, hex wrench with the... Uh, motor pulley. There's a little uh, bolt in the bottom that you can use this hex wrench to loosen. Once that's loosened, you want to make sure the belt is off, but once that's loosened, you can take this off. And if this is loose, the uh, motor will spin, but this motor pulley won't spin. So at this point, there's sometimes going to be some fiber uh, right here. That's something you'd want to clean off the motor shaft if there's any fiber in there. Use a tweezers or something or just pull it out with your fingers if there's any fiber in there. And at this point you can uh, try spinning it and you can't really hear or see anything but if you put your finger on this you should feel this spinning. So if that spins you should be able to put the uh, flyer back on, tighten it up again with your little hex wrench and once you have that back into place, you can put drive belt back on and things should be spinning. Now, during this process, you may have removed the bobbin, so you want to always make sure that the pulley is on the back. If you forget that, it's going to make a lot of noise and sort of vibrate in a bad way. So um, if things aren't smooth, that's something to check. Uh, another thing to check is to make sure that the little groove on the pulley is in the back so that there's a place to put this um, tension band. So if you still have nothing after going through all of those things, one thing that can cause a problem, and you probably want to unplug the electric eel wheel 6 before trying this, is you can just make sure that all of these plugs in the bottom circuit board are correct. So you might want to take off the plugs. So this is the plug that goes to the speed control. Just maybe unplug it, plug it back in. You can do the same thing with this tension switch. Uh, and one that's actually pretty common uh, during shipping, well not, I mean it doesn't happen very often, but once in a while during shipping, uh, this plug will get partially knocked out. So taking this plug, this six wire plug, out of the circuit board and then also out of the motor like this, putting it back in, making sure that it's fully seated 
is good. Sometimes I also like to just check these wires and make sure that it's good. So with all of those things that uh, will address most of the common issues uh, on reasons that the electric EO wheel six isn't spinning. Hope you found this helpful. Thanks for watching.